Hey, it's Anna. Happy Tuesday. So, I'm here with another pre-recorded sales video. Uh, this is predominantly sterling and stone. I have a 14K pair of pearl earrings as well. Um, so, if you're interested in purchasing anything that I show, please email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. I'll put my email in the description section up at the top. You'll see that. I also have other information pertinent to my channel in my description section as well if you want to check it out. If you're new here, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel and contact me to purchase as well. Um, I use PayPal invoicing, which is secure for you and for me as well. There's always a tracking number for your shipping right into PayPal so you can track your packages. Okay, so I will put a sold list. I don't know if I said this yet. <laughs> I don't think so. Up in the comment section, there will be a sold list. So, as items sell, I will enter them on the sold list. And on the sold list, and like I said, it'll be pinned up at the top. Hey, see my hand there? Okay, let me get started. This is a Desert Rose Trading J King Desert Rose Trading lapis necklace. This looks more like sodalite. I guess it just has more calcite in it. It's a beautiful necklace, though. Um, marked um, DRT right here, as well as over here. And it's sterling findings. It's 16 to 19 inches. I already measured it. Nice, nice necklace. Um, there you go. 40 bucks if anybody wants to J. King Desert Rose Trading um, Lapis necklace. I like the way the center stone looks. I've worn it. It stands out. It looks nice um, on, like if the striping on it. It's beautiful, actually. Um, that's 40 bucks if anybody wants it. J. King, that's easy, right, to define. I have, these will be 40 as well. These are 14K. I don't have the original backing, and I don't think I'm going to be able to enlarge to show you, but it says 14K on there. These are five millimeters, the pearls, and they look, they're black pearls. Um, they're beautiful. 14K, and they have something inside of a circle. I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm really sorry. I can't enlarge it enough, but these are beautiful 14K. Do not have the original backings. I could put some gold tone ones on it. I don't have gold. But on this part, it's marked 14K and has something inside of a circle. And I am I just can't see it. But they're 40 bucks if anybody wants them. They're beautiful. Let me take them off and show them against a different color besides black. So you can see with the way they shine. Oh, goodness. I'll stick them into one of these maybe. There's one of them. <laughs> I can put them both in there, actually. I like them better on a white. I don't want to stab my white, so I will hold it here. They're beautiful. They're five millimeters. They are a really good matchup um, at the size. Um, they're high quality pearls. Beautiful. 14k marked on here and something else that I cannot see and I'm not gonna be able to show it enlarging it I don't think let me see if I can take time up there 40 bucks. It's a good buy uh, My nails are a little unsightly, but let's go with it anyways um, I am contemplating going back and getting them done. It's so, how bad I feel like they I got it I need to manicure my own nails apparently don't mind. I hope my nail doesn't look too bad I don't want to be like slightly maybe you can enlarge that and see I don't know what's in the circle okay it does say 14k um they're beautiful that I was I I was gonna keep them I don't have the original backing to them but um, um I'm offering them for $40 today 14k post I don't know Mike did I stop I don't know I'm sorry I knocked myself off there I sat up my, I got a new tablecloth, um, and I sat up my desk on the opposite side for whatnot tonight. So we'll see um, Vincent Van Gogh's Vin, uh, Starry Night back there. Those are 40 if you'd like them. They're beautiful, I think. Okay. Um, let me, these are 30. This is a, um, I brought crystal to there. This is amazing. This is Sterling Findings. I think it's amazing. Sterling Findings. And just about every type of stone. I see there's Laramar, there's rock crystal on here, there's 
citrine, there's uh, per peridot, um, amethyst, uh, garnet, I see onyx. There's a, um, aventurines probably is on here. It is on here. I said citrine, right? Um, carnelian. Beautiful necklace. Moth, this is $30 if anybody wants it. It has freshwater culture pearls as well, which are beautiful. Um, it's a nice necklace, I think. Let me give you a measurement on it when I find a tape measure. It fell at my feet. Excuse me, I got I gotta pick it up. And I moved the camera off the table. I am working on getting a better stand to put it on, but I, I like the setup I have here. Hopefully my lighting's good for you. If you want to comment in the comment section how the picture looked. And if you liked anything, I'd appreciate it. Um, some interaction would be appreciated. 17 inches without opening in it. So open, it's probably 18. You can wear this as the three strands. Look at the beautiful amethyst on there too. Um, as the three strands just like this. I like to roll it and wear them. Um, let me see if I can roll it without opening it. I probably can. There you go. Like that, it looks beautiful on the neck. $30 if anybody wants the beautiful multi-stone and beautiful freshwater culture pearls. They're Baroque. They're lovely. They have a lot of decent amount of nacre on them. That's 30 The rock crystal's 32 $30 as well. Not 32 And it is chunk strung and knotted in between. Um, you have a double layer there. It probably look better on another color. But rock uh, crystal pieces. They're smooth. And let me tell you how long that is. One second. I don't know why this keeps on ending up on the floor. All right. I my camera looks a little crooked in my head. I decided to get up in the morning and do another video. The video I did yesterday was a lot of costume, wasn't much interest. I hope there's more interest in this. If not, it'll be coming to whatnot tonight. I'll give it till then. Um, 18 inches wearable length around the neck with a two inch extender. So for the beautiful rock crystal, it's single stranded up here. And then when you get on the bottom, you have two strands. Somebody could repurpose this or wear it as such. It is rock crystal. Clear crystal quartz, rock crystal. Beautiful, that's 30 as well. So the 40 are these two and this these two are 30. Let's see what else I have. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to stay in order. This is 30. This is a Victorian, um, I, I believe this is low carat gold. Could be gold filled, okay? I didn't test it and I don't see a marking on it. Um, it's a piece of coral. It says Victorian, this is antique. Wait, does it say something? Give me a moment. I believe it's low carat gold. I or gold filled. I'm not really sure, honestly. But look, C class, a Victorian. This is about an inch and a quarter. Um, piece of coral. That's thirty dollars if anybody wants it. Um, it's cool. <laughs> It's antique, definitely. Um, I've had that for a little bit, a little while. It's a little over an inch. Okay. That's 30. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> Let me, uh, nah. Let's just continue the necklaces. I have two more necklaces. I have, this looks, reminds me of dragon skin. Okay. This is a glass. I'm not sure what glass, but this is all sterling. And they didn't see a maker's mark on it, but it's a sterling little heart toggle. And these are all sterling beads on here, and the findings down here are sterling. And this is a glass. I don't know what it's called. It reminds me of dragon skin, okay? It's not see-through at all. It's purple, has yellow, green, has veins look, going through it. This is $20 if anybody wants it. It's a beautiful necklace. It's good for layering uh, with other necklaces. 16 inches that it could complement. And these beads... Remind me of dragon skin. You know what I mean by that? Okay, that's 20. And then I have this AB necklace. Um, this is beautiful. It's triple strand. It could be worn. It, it's like drapes. Let me show it to you. Let me get it on. 
tangled. It's mid-century modern. It's, um, it's you know, mid-century of this, the 1900s, okay? <laughs> um, it's triple strand. It's beautiful. It's red AB. Probably like late 50s or 60s. Quite beautiful. Here's the findings. You have these that one twisted. You see, they both look the same. Um, it has an extender at J hook and the beautiful triple strand graduated in size by cones in the center. Beautiful glass. Um, I think it's lovely. Let me give you a measurement on it at the shortest. Okay. I'll open it and do that with the extender. Um, cause it could be worn as a choker. It is 14 to 16 inches. I think it's a beautiful necklace. It's twenty dollars if anybody wants it. It's lovely. It's a, a good layer all in itself. Okay, that's that for that. She's this is quite lovely. I have rings too. See, so they're not going to be in complete order. I will add them up. You give me a description and a price. So beautiful woman picking. Okay, it's lifted a little bit here. This is twenty bucks. This is wooden. And celluloid, and it looks like they put a dye over it, like a splash of a dye. It is a little bit lifted, but it's unique and fabulous. She, I believe it's celluloid, and it's a beautiful woman picking grapes, I think, uh, probably in Greece, over in Italy or something. It's lovely. She's like an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half. Let me tell you how big she is for scale, since I'm not, um, oh, almost two inches, actually. Pretty nicely sized. This was mine for several years. That's to $20, not to. <laughs> um, I do have a ring that has to be added until the 30. Um, this is a beautiful opal. Let me see if I can show you that. Uh, it has a lovely flash undertone. Like it's, it's a natural solid opal. Look, it could probably use a cleaning. This is heavy as well, the silver. I could go get the scale and weigh it because, but there it's open in the back. It's Mark Sterling. Kind of reminds me of a Mexican design. A big, the opal is almost one inch. This is 30 bucks. And the opal is like three quarters of an inch. Let me size it. Let me take off that. God, it feels tight. I didn't eat potato chips last night. Come on. It's almost a seven. It's on a seven. Like. Seven, size seven. Beautiful. You see the shine? I mean, the flash back there. It's a natural opal stone. It's just solid opal. And it fits my seven. I wear a seven comfortably and it fits me comfortably. It's called a seven. It's got a little bit of weight to it. I'm not going to weigh it. If somebody wants to email and ask me to weigh it. It's a heavy, heavy, thick sterling though. Let me point that out. This is not a cheap ring. It's all one piece. It's well made. And the opal is rather large. That's rather beautiful. I see blue, I see green, I see purple, I see magnificent opal for $30. I think that's a stale of a deal, really, for the quality of that ring. So that one's $30. I have a few $25 rings. Um, let me get to those, and then I'll show the earrings. This one is an antique, um, looks like an emerald cut, uh, citrine glass sterling, signed sterling, with an R in between two arrows in here, um, underneath the underbelly of it, uh, the undercarriage, it's signed Sterling. Um, I don't know if it's really called undercarriage. I guess I could call it whatever I want, right? It's signed Sterling and has an R in between two triangles that have like something in them. I don't know. But here, it is citrine glass. Beautiful. This is $25. There's the details. And it is a six, I think. Yes, it's a size six. It's beautiful. Look how it's, it's very lovely. It's $25. That's about a half of an inch, maybe a little bit bigger on this, the, yeah, on the face of it. It's a beautiful antique Art Deco, I believe, ring. So this one will go in between there. That's 25. And then I'm going to do the point, uh, this six point, uh, Vintage, possibly, I, I'm just going to say vintage, um, Zuni ring. It's six point petite, petty, I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's not petite, it's something like petty. Okay, I realized that. I saw somebody pronouncing it. 
think it was Thelma. And I Googled it just to make sure it's how it said because I do trust Thelma, but just to see. And I've been saying it wrong for a while. It's not petite. It's like, it's pronounced something like petty. Okay. This is signed Sterling in, on, on the, this part and on the back of the base. It is a size six. It's 25 bucks today, which I think is a steal for this ring. It is a six, so you have to be a six to fit it. Or you could buy it and probably sell it for twice that, I think, at least. It's 25 bucks today. This is a vintage Petit Point, I think is how you pronounce it. Right. I don't know. You know what I mean. Look it up at Zuni. This is 25 bucks too. This is Mark 925. This is a vintage ring. This is a seven and three quarters. And this is beautiful. It looks like a blue topaz, but it's not a blue topaz. Okay. It's a nice size stone too. That's at least a half of an inch. And the details, let me hang it up to show you. The details of the ring are quite beautiful, I think. Here, hold on. It's 25 bucks. It's lovely. Somebody really took their time on this ring making it. It's a lovely ring. And it's open in the back. It is glass. It's not a topaz. It's, um, again, glass. That's 25. This little one's 20. This is a beautiful, this is a four and three quarters. Just about a, it's like a four and a half. It's a half over four and a half. So we'll say four and three quarters. That's a beautiful blue topaz. And the details are lovely on this ring. Look. This one's 20 today. That's at least a half of an inch. It's open in the back. It is a blue topaz. This is going in a five. I'll put it up to 20 since I already said that. It should be 25. It should be more actually, but that's that. Judith Ripka, these are 20. These are Judith Ripka. Those are faux pearls, but they look real. They're silvery. They look like Mallorca to me, but I don't think they like sold their pearls out to other people. That's a faux pearl company that would make pearl from like Naker and other things. But anyways, um, it's beautiful. Marcus Sites, Judith Jack. These are nice earrings. I think they're lovely. I was going to keep them, but I decided to put a video together to see if I could uh, make some money. <laughs> One and three quarter inches. Things are rough sometimes. I know that, but um, I think some of this is desirable, and I'm offering it cheap. If not, it'll some will come to whatnot. I'm giving it. I'll probably bring some to whatnot tonight if it doesn't sell by then. All right. So the video's going on earlier. Judith Rip cut twenty dollars. A two inch drop. Beautiful. Signed JJ up in there. I'm not going to take that off. I think they're original sterling backings. They're sterling silver and clustered marcasites all over, and they are all there, and they're beautiful. Those are twenty. I have, oh, good God, oh my, am I going to find them all? No, I will These ones are 30. Okay, these are sterling silver and cubic zirconian on the, I believe. Um, these are 10, look, they have this nice, like, lock back here. It's hard to lock when you're look, doing it on here, but they're, see, they lock in place. These are 10 millimeter, beautiful freshwater culture pearls. With cubic zirconian. These ones are 30. That's a rather large pearl and beautiful. They match up pretty well, too. They're not completely round. Um, I think they're freshwater cultured. Okay. They kind of look like the Akoya Japanese pearls I just sold. I don't know, though, but we'll call them freshwater cultured pearls. They have a moon like a, like a crescent moon on the side. Those are cubic zirconians. They are signed 925 back here and in here. And they are sterling. And I think they're lovely. 10 millimeters, these are 30. Okay, those are $30. I have these, these are nice, these are 25. These are um, amethyst, citrine, and garnet, and sterling silver, they're signed 925. They have like this, that type lever back, or lever back, or you wanna pronounce it. They're just signed 925 as far as I could see. I thought they were gonna be designer I really did, um, but there they are. The citrine, amethyst, and garnet, beautiful. These are $25, sterling, silver, and triple. So they'll go with these ones, ah, things. And then I have these goldstone and sterling. I bought a pair off of um, Carla, Princess Casserole. She was opening a bag, and I found a pair that matched my pendant that I like better. 
So I'll sell these ones. These are marked 925 on the wire. These are purple gold stone. These ones are going to be 20. Can you see the gold stone? I'm sh hopefully, let me show you. <laughs> they are purple gold stone. Try to get the shine there. There you go. Sterling and purple gold stone for 20. These are like a two inch drop. One. Okay, I have this ring for 10. This is sterling silver. It's a nice fat band on it. It's larger. It's at an eight and a half, I'd say. And it's 10 bucks today, which is very cheap, okay, um, for it. It's hammered metal. There's a dent there that may not supposed to be there, but it is hammered, as you can see. So maybe it's deliberate. I don't know. It's it's 10 bucks today, which is super cheap. Sterling silver. I don't see a marking on it. I believe it was sized. Okay. So that's probably where there's no marking on. That's 10. And then I have a costume piece here that I thought was pretty cool. Look how pretty it is. It's 10 bucks too, seven and three quarter inches, little dome ring. I'm calling it a dome, okay? Dome shaped, all right? I'm not categorizing. I doubt anybody's gonna say anything, but you know, of me being wrong, but it's just dome shaped, okay? I know it's not like, and it's seven and a half inches and it's pretty. You've got like grayish rhinestones and black. It's a costume. Um, is it missing a stone? Hold on. No, that's an opening. That's just an opening. It's a costume uh, cocktail ring, I guess we could say. Ten bucks. All right, that's all I have. If you saw anything you want to, please email me. I'm going to put this up. This is coming up early. And um, I'd be happy to accommodate you with the sale. Um, I will be on Whatnot at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll put that down in my description section as well underneath my email address. I'm going to go on and I'm going to try to do a live sale. Anything that doesn't sell by that time is, you know, fair game to be pulled up. So, if, you know, if you're watching this, you'll, I'm just going to say that because I, I'm going to bring as much jewelry as I can there and try to sale. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. Um, I'll have a haul video out tomorrow. That's my anticipation. Thank you. Bye.